Hey guys, it's been six years since Trick or Treat hit theaters, but director Mike Dougherty is finally back with a second feature. With Krampus due out on December 4th, Haley got the opportunity to sit down with Dougherty and the cast of the film to talk Christmas traditions, terrifying toys, and more. Check it out. So we're gonna start with the quick Christmas round with you. Mm -hmm. um, aside from your own, what's your favorite Christmas movie? A uh, Christmas Story. Ooh, Christmas Story maybe. Christmas Story? I think so, yeah, that's kind of a standard for me. No, no, I want an official red under combination. Do you wanna get rid of my lead rifle? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I remember when I saw Bad Santa for the first time. I didn't know that it was going to be so hilarious and so dark, but I was a big fan of Terry Zweigoff, so I went to see it opening day, and I loved it so much, I came back the next day to see it again. I just couldn't believe how perfect that movie was. And your favorite Christmas song? That's a good question. I was singing Jingle Bells with my son in the bath the other night. That was pretty fun. Maybe Carol of the Bells, oh. which I couldn't sing all of if I wanted to, <laughs> but I like the way it sounds. I like that one. Did Charlie Brown do a Christmas song? I don't know if it's a particular song, but I just, I love the Charlie Brown Christmas album. Yeah, yeah. Christmas time is here. Yeah, that's very sweet. Nice. I like that song. Awesome. And do you have a favorite Christmas tradition? Um, I love wearing those paper hats that come out of the crackers. Yeah, I, I kind of force everyone to keep them on through lunch. In our household, we would open presents for like the four nights before Christmas um, to sort of cull, to kind of cull the herd for Christmas morning. You know, I'm a traditionalist, so it's decorating the house and it's making cookies and, and Christmas specials. Since having kids and having them kind of grow up, the whole Santa, like leaving the cookies out, is so, is so cute to watch them set it up and write the note and then in the morning rush out to see if he ate the cookies and the carrots, if the reindeer ate the carrots and all that. It's, we're lying to them, but it's really cute. <laughs> With those holiday greetings and greetings. Yeah. One of your childhood toys came to life. Which one would be the scariest? I, my e I mean, Ewoks looks kind of cute and scary to me. <laughs> Remember Wuzzles? I had a Wuzzle <laughs> that was like <laughs> half bee and half lion. Bumble Lion. That was oh. his name. Do you remember Wuzzles? Wuzzles I don't. were a thing. They were all these like Island of Dr. Moreau, like terrifying hybrid toys. I had a car called the Air Jammer, which was. Do you remember the Air Jammer? Air Jammer. Pump it up with air and it would take off. And I used to take it at the top of a flight of stairs and take my hamster and put it on top of it <laughs> and let it just go off the stairs. And so if a Christmas toy, if a toy were to come to life and get revenge on me, it would be the air jammer along with a giant hamster. If you could see any fictional family pitted against Krampus, who would you pick? Owls, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> the Simpsons, have they done that? Oh, hey, the Simpsons, get on top of that. Yeah. That'd be a great episode. That would be a great It'd be like episode. half, you know, Treehouse of Horrors and half Christmas special. The Brady's would be pretty hilarious. Yeah, how do you think they'd do? Alice can hold her own. True. You know what I mean? <laughs> Michael did Halloween, now he's tackled Christmas. Yeah. Shared universes are kind of the jam right now. Uh -huh. What would be your pitch for his next holiday film? He needs to take on um, Arbor Day. It's time. Can the Easter Bunny become evil? I really want there to be more Jewish holiday film, horror films, <laughs> like, like Yom Kippur. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're the ones to take that on, but I think it would be fun. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, Krampus hits theaters nationwide on December 4th. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with everything we've got going down here on Collider.